There is one massive thing that nobody tells you guys, which is why so many people suck at wave dashing. Nobody's talking about it, and I don't know why, guys. There is a small secret to being able to wave dash, and it is... So the first step on how to wave dash, guys, is just jumping it. It's quite simple. You just have to jump, guys, just like that. Once you have been able to jump, all you have to do is lean in the direction that you do not want to go in. That seems complicated, but it's actually quite simple. So if I want to go forward with my wave dash, all I have to do is lean backwards and have my back wheels hit the ground. If I want to go backwards with my wave dash, I lean forward and have my forward wheels hit the ground, guys. If I want to go to the right, I have my left wheels hit the ground. And if I want to go to the left, I have my right wheels hit the ground, guys. So you kind of like opening your car, almost you're opening the belly of your car in the direction that you want to go in simple enough so once you understand that you have to jump and you have to lean your car at that point it's actually quite simple all you have to do is execute the flip which just means push your joystick and the jump button at the same time in the direction you want to go so say that we want to go forward here we're gonna lean backwards, have our back wheels hit the ground, and the second that our back wheels hit the ground, we're gonna flip forward, and it's gonna send our nose into the ground. So as you can see, jump, lean back, jump again, simple as that. Right when our back wheels hit the ground, right there, we jump again, guys. It's very, very simple, but there is one massive thing that nobody tells you guys. There is a small secret to being able to wave dash, and it is this right here. With wave dashing, you want to stay low to the ground because you want your wave dash to come off as quickly as possible so you get your speed as early as possible. Well, what a lot of people don't know is that the longer you hold the jump button, the higher you jump. So this is me holding the jump button. This is me tapping the jump button. There is a massive difference there. So when you wave dash, you want to tap the jump button as quickly as possible and then let go. That way you're nice and close to the ground and you can get the wave dash off very quick. So if I'm going to wave dash forward, but I hold it down, as you can see, I no longer have my jump. I've waited too long. But if I tap it, now it's nice and easy, guys. I can go to the right. I can go to the left. I can go backwards. It's super duper simple. I can go diagonally, guys. The massive tip that I will give you guys, though, is when you are wave dashing in any direction other than forward or backwards, you want to hold drift. Okay, and this is going to allow you, say I want to wave dash to the right. This is going to allow you to keep your momentum even though you're going sideways, guys. So as you can see, I wave dash to the right and I keep my momentum. If I were to let go of drift, as you can see, you stop. And you don't want to stop. You want to keep your momentum. This is going to allow you to chain multiple wave dashes in a row. As you can see, if I want to go left, I'm holding down drift. And I'm wave dashing and I keep my speed even though I'm going sideways, guys. That is another massive tip that people don't tell you. You want to hold down drift. If you're wave dashing in any direction besides forward or back, that way you can chain them together and keep your momentum. As you can see, I'm just holding down drift here, guys, as I go for as many wave dashes as I want. And I'm just tapping the jump button to stay nice and low to the ground. Very, very simple. The hardest part is just knowing when to open up your car, in what direction, and when to flip. So again, if you guys want to flip forward, it's right when these back wheels hit the ground, guys. Very, very simple. I want to go backwards. It's right when the front wheels hit the ground, and then I just flip backwards, guys. Very, very simple, but a very useful mechanic. You guys can be able to do stuff off the wall. So say I want to be able to gain some speed. I jump off the wall and then I wave dash. And if you get very, very good at wave dashing, you can start doing things like wall dashing, where I just spam it on the wall here, and I go very, very fast, very, very quickly. And if you guys wanna learn how to be able to do that, I have a tutorial on my channel, so go ahead and check that out on how to wall dash. But I hope this video helped you guys. If you feel like your settings are holding you back, from being able to wave dash and drift and all that kind of stuff properly, go check out my settings tutorial video. It's gonna give you the best settings so you can be able to wave dash and do every mechanic in this game very, very simply, guys. That's gonna be it for the wave dash tutorial, guys. I will be sure to read the comments, so if this helped you, drop it down below. If you have any questions, also drop it down below. Make sure to subscribe. I love you guys, and peace out.